And right now we're falling behind some uh, European countries. And Both NMSU economic professors Chris Erickson and Jim Peach agree there wasn't much in President Barack Obama's State of the Union speech that will have a short-term positive impact on the U.S. economy. Chris Erickson. Actually, I think that the, the policies as proposed have a, a, a mildly negative impact on the economy because the president is uh, proposing uh, a freeze on spending. Jim Peach. There wasn't really anything that will have an immediate impact on the economy. However, the two differ in how aggressive they want the federal government to be in boosting economic recovery. We need to, we need to spend and even perhaps cut taxes in order to stimulate the economy. Jim Peach has a brighter economic outlook for 2011 and doesn't feel the government needs to take that much action. Production is increasing nationwide. Our exports have been good. Corporate, corporate profits are soaring. Both professors agree the president's speech was geared more towards long-term growth, and both were very pleased with President Obama's plan for investing in technology, education, and infrastructure. Chris Erickson. We do need to continue to invest in infrastructure. We do need to continue to invest in new technologies and basic research. I think unequivocally, the secret to success in economic development and growth long run, not next year, but long run, is having a well-educated workforce. Jim Peach. A, a better trained labor force is good for business. A better transportation system is good for business. The professors view the large deficit as a problem, but believe it doesn't need to be fixed anytime soon. Jim Peach. But the deficit and the debt are not our two most severe problems. They, they really aren't. If we don't do something to encourage the growth, the long-run growth of the economy through education, through R&D, through infrastructure projects, deficit is going to seem like a tiny little problem. And they both feel that eventually, once the economy is stronger, the only way to tackle the deficit will be to cut spending and raise taxes. Chris Erickson. Utter rejection of any tax increases is dogmatic and unrealistic. We're not going to solve the deficit problem without both reining in government spending and increasing taxes. Jim Peach. And it is not the silliness of let's have the lowest taxes anywhere. It, it's not. That's like a business saying, yeah, we want to minimize costs. Well, I'll tell you, the way to minimize costs is go out of business. That's not that's not what a business is after. A business is trying to make a profit, and to make a profit you have to invest. That's also true as a nation. For KRWG, I'm Jared Anderson. This is our generation's Sputnik moment.